gonna do some rodizios, mm -hmm. like uh, passing drills. I'll put the guys in like a seated guard. I'll put the guys in a supine guard. Working on like we've been doing a lot of recovery stuff. I've been my, I've been working my own recoveries a lot, so I've been getting these guys on board with it, um, and just passing like a lot of loose looser passing, outside passing, things like that. Just messing around, north south passing, fun stuff. Need some jams. Some Above and beyond. Saturday morning jams. Let's go. What's up, everybody? This is PJ, the Butter Panther Barch. We just got done a little Saturday morning session here at Tampana South Bay. Uh, after a long week of training, I just got in to mix it up with my students and get some clips for Polaris and uh, just had a good class going. And uh, yeah, just prepping, man, long week of training. It's an interesting cast. Uh, I'm excited for it because it's actually like all people that, at least so far, that I haven't had matches with. And I feel like I've been kicking around with a lot of the same people for the past few years and it hasn't been as fun. It's a lot of guard players. I think it's Europeans, a lot of them so far on the list. Um, I guess Chen's not really European, but he, he does compete in their trials and stuff. Uh, but I saw that Epson kid who I don't follow too closely, but from what I hear, and, and I'll probably do a little bit of research and study, but he's kind of like a Langacker, guard player, geeky e guy type. Obviously, Joseph Chen is like a really exciting match. I think he'll be one of the few guys to try to wrestle with me. Since he's been working that a lot, he looks pretty good on his feet. So he'll be he'll be a really fun match. And a lot of people are excited for who he is. So I'm excited to try to test him out and see how he feels. Levi, yeah, that's another like, uh, curious matchup for me too like another another guard guy a little bit different style maybe than the other guys he, he has that carambolo style and stuff and always seemed like a fun fun guy to mix it up with and try to pass you know get into like rock battles with things like that I, i've been trying to understand uh guard a bit better um, myself like just for recovery purposes and then you know for my own passing purposes i had to kind of deconstruct like how everybody recovers guard and then kind of uh so i had to like really learn all the ins and outs of all the guard recoveries to start learning how to pass the guards a lot better and and mapping in like a really solid plan for passing different kinds of guards and things like that um which has been like a huge kind of deconstruction process in those uh in those those days that we come in in the mornings and uh you know the wrestling is like a little more auxiliary right now. Um, it's been a lot of guard passing, a lot of guard, and then um, a lot of submission work as well. I'm going back into some submissions and things like that. Just things that like I didn't focus on so heavily for ADCC that I'm coming back to and, and relearning and stuff. And honestly, like just training has been a lot of fun. And adding a lot of new things and stuff that like probably I don't want to um, say, but. Uh, the training is going really good and there is like I'm, I'm learning a ton right now. I'm learning the most I've learned it since my ADCC camp. Fucking bully. You know, I decided to decide to come to London early. You know, to um, climatize and, uh, and and get ready for this. You know, taking this one super seriously. Um, you know, so yeah, I decided to come to London grapple. Uh, Lachlan uh, was telling me, Lachlan Giles in Australia was telling me that um, you know it's a really good gym, a lot of awesome roles, and uh, he wasn't lying. Like the vibe here is is has been great, and you know I couldn't have um, like. Yeah, I found a better place to get ready for. Yeah, I went to Unity when, um, you know, i just gotten my, my purple belt in, in 2015. Um, and, yeah, like, I, I went for a few months then, you know, Marillo basically offered for me to sleep at the gym and, um, you know, help, help him with classes and he'd um, look after me. And then from there, you know, I didn't look back and, Definitely some of the hardest, but funnest, um, most rewarding, you know, years ever. Like got me to, to where I where I am today. And I always tell people now, like, 
I, it's impossible for me to like have a hard training session, you know, because like nothing is ever as difficult as that that training was in that old old Unity. There was just something different about it, like like you said, like when the doors were locked and the windows were closed, and you had to do like 15, 10 minute rounds plus half an hour of sprawling. Like I felt like you're on the verge of a panic attack every day just from the claustrophobia and overheating. So like, yeah, like. It's funny, like everyone's like, okay, today's gonna be a tough session. And I just feel like no training is ever hard anymore, which is like good. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy they like, you like moved gyms and like the new gym is like giant. And even if Merlo makes a really hard training, like you can still breathe. So it's, it's never like that hard. Uh, it's been an amazing week. Uh, Alana Rappel here with Levi. He's been absolutely uh, decimating everybody in the gym. Probably one of the best guys I've ever rolled with. Like, usually I can get out of people's back control, but once he's uh, it's, uh, it's game over. His, uh, his class has been amazing. Uh, he's shown some regard retention stuff, shows some uh, back take stuff as well. It's just been great vibes, great training. It's just an amazing week. But if the hips are facing you, you say I've always been drawn to that style, you know, of like taking the back from anywhere because I believe it's like the, the best style to have against stronger opponents, you know. Once you get behind somebody, it doesn't matter how big they are, how strong they are, like it's, it's even, you know. So I really think that's like the ideal of Jiu Jitsu to always look for the back and that is my style, you know. Um, and uh, you know, never, never like forcing anything. Always going around. Always like flowing to the to the back take. Yeah, definitely inspired a lot from top position. You know, um, my my passing and stuff is really heavily influenced by my professor uh, Merlo Santana. So from top, I'm doing like a lot of pressure passing, which I feel like it's taken me a long time to get good at passing. Like almost like ten years training under Merlo until, until it's like finally clicked for me how to how to like properly pass, you know, just didn't come as naturally for me as like the Baron Bolo game, but but now I feel like I'm at a stage where I'm like really complete in that aspect. Like if I get on top, I have very good pressure and then if I'm on bottom, I can like just hunt for the back. Nobody has really dedicated that much of their, you know, years training just to specializing in that position. I believe I've just gotten so much better at it um, over the years that like, I think I'll be able to take everybody's back <laughs> and um, you know once I get to their back I can just submit them eventually so honestly like everybody in that division I've, I've really wanted to compete against I think like this division is almost like the ADCC world's bracket you know just missing like a few um, a few people so honestly every single person in that division standout names I guess would be like um, Joseph, PJ, um, I think a match with, with Espin would be awesome. Yeah, I'm really excited. So it's a really, really cool bracket. I think everybody's going to be, have like a really cool, like fun time watching it.